Hello friends, uh, today we are going to learn what exactly Node.js is and also we are going to begin how to use packages in Node.js starting from the first one which uh, is Express Generator. Now I have been using .NET uh, through four years and uh, throughout those four years the basic functionality that has been offered to be me by Visual Studio oops, is that whenever whatever the type of project that I require to be created the basic architecture of the project or the basic required files of this project is being provided to me by Visual Studio now when I start with Node.js I need the exact same functionality so for that I'll be using packages which is Express Generator now in order to begin let's just focus on what node.js exactly is now node.js is server-side javascript platform built on google chrome javascript v8 engine it's open source cross-platform application to develop server-side and networking applications anyone who have an idea of how to write code in javascript can work easily on node.js it can work on microsoft windows linux linux os x the main features fast and poor execution, highly scalable, event driven, no buffering at all. Now in order to get started with it, the first thing that we need to go need to do is to go to this particular URL node.js.org.en which is this particular page. From here we can download the version of uh, the uh, node.js uh, extension that we need to install in the system. It is mandatory that is what installs the node.js in our system and we can use it functionality from there on so just click on this and uh, as you can see the uh, installation will start i'll cancel it for now because i have already got it installed so in order to check whether the node.js had been installed or not i'll just click on start menu and i'll search for node This is the Node.js command prompt. Now this shows that the Node.js had been installed into your system. Now we need to check whether the installation is successful or not. So first of all, I will get the version of Node that has been installed into my system. 0.12.7. Yes, this is the version. Now there is another thing inside Node which is called NPM. Let's get to the version of it as well. NPM version I can read 2.11.6 now what is npm for in order to understand npm we'll go to this particular url npmjs.com which is this what feature npm providers is that it provides us with different packages these packages are available on this particular website we can download it it has different set of functionalities we can use it so basic uh, feature that another feature that we get with node.js is that it's more of a modular form so we have different modules, we have different functionalities that can be easily imported. So in this particular command prompt itself, if I need to test whether the Node.js is working fine, what I'll do is, I'll click Node and enter. As you can see, the cursor has changed. Now I'll try and perform a simple mathematic function. 6 plus 5, enter 11. It's minus 2 enter 4 2 minus 10 minus 8 3 cross 6 18 9 divided by 3 4.5 also if you need to print anything go to log log message enter so what this shows is that the node is installed successfully and you can then start working with it. Now in order to get out of this node we have to press ctrl c twice and you are out of it. Now what we will do is to make a small application or a sample application in node.js and we'll run it. We'll try to change some parameters and we'll see how it actually works. For that I'll go to the library that I've been using for this where I'm going to create a new project. Just a minute. DIR CD 
Oops. Okay, so we are into E. I'm going to go to the E folder. CD tutorials. We have a CD node chairs. Oops. Node chairs and in that we have express Yes. We are going to create an express application into this particular place. Now, in order to install a Node.js uh, and express package, what you need to do is on the same command prompt, you have to write npm install express generator g. Now, this is simple calling of the npm functionality which calls the package. This has installed where exactly the request of installing this express generator would go and from there the package would be installed in your application or system this is a command it says to install this is the name of the package express generator and this is this means global this says that this particular package would be installed installed on a global level in the application Otherwise, if you don't do that, this will be installed at a particular folder and would not be accessible from throughout the application. Now that I've installed it in a global level, what I in, in this particular folder, I need not to install it again. I'll simply use, I can simply use this package. Now how to use this package? It's simple. The command, the keyword is express and then the name of the application. What I am going to create is a test app. So I'll just go ahead, express test app, enter. See, earlier there was nothing in it. Now we have this folder, and with this, we have files. Now you can see package.json file in it. This particular file contains all the external packages that need to be uh, installed to run this application. If there any other dependency or any other new package that you need to install, you have to first write it here and then you can install it. We'll share on the uh, types of installation in later videos. Now, what you have done is just install, is just made this architecture, but all these things mentioned in the package.json are not yet installed in your application. For that, you will go into the test app folder and you will say npm. This particular command will install all the packages that have been mentioned into your package.json. What it does is simply goes to the package.json file, reads this uh, name and what we have here are the versions and it goes to the npm uh, website and get those packages of those version and install it in your application. So these are just small warnings, nothing to be worried about. Let's get it done. So by default, the port on which a Node.js application is created is the port 3000. As you can see, it's up and running. So what we need to do is go to localhost and the 3000 enter and you can see oops what i forgot is i have done everything i have installed all the application but i have not started the application yet for that you need to run npm start now it's running i just click on this refresh button and yes you can see express welcome to express now we'll go ahead and change this message so as to make sure that we have the complete control of our application. We'll discuss this folder structure later in our different videos. So for this particular thing, I'll go into the routes, index.js, right click, edit the notepad. This is the text message that is going here and it's been used at this location and this location. We'll change it to uh, test app i'll save it i'll close it and then i'll go to the views index dot chair right click add the notepad you can see welcome 
So I'll just say V welcome you to okay let's make it more sensible and save close it to get out of this we have to restart this application so i'll press ctrl c twice and again i'll run this command and again start enter the application is running now i'll go to this browser and i'll click refresh and voila a test app we welcome you to a test app so now our node.js application is being generated using the express generator we have run this application we have changed a few parameters and see how it behaves on the browser now in the next videos we are going to learn one by one what exactly files mean in this particular application and we'll go more into the depth of it and uh, till then i hope you like this video and uh, do please leave your comments in the below section and let me know if how can i improve uh, in my further videos thank you and thank you for listening Good night.